What's up everybody, it's Jack and Dan. And today, we're making more progress in the indoor garden. Yeah, let's take a look. All right, so the last video you guys saw, we kind of hooked up the trellises and stuff like that. These guys are going crazy right here, all these sprouts. Now we did, just preemptively, we moved that one row out of the snow pea pods and we started it over here and they were already quite long. So we started putting them up the trellis and we just very loosely um, close pinned them with these, got a bag of wooden close pins for like 99 cents at Mark's and they're already doing awesome. So what we did is we planted them right in front of the trellis, put the trellis up. Now what we might do, because we do have, we're gonna be pinning these up here so we remember what, like where's what until they start to grow more. Since we have more, we may plant some behind them just directly in here. And, and in all honesty, buddy, we, did, we didn't have to use these, right? Yeah. We just kind of did it as an experiment. Just to, just to see what would happen and just to get them starting to grow. Yeah, see, I've used works. those in the past when I've had gardens to start them early in the spring. But it doesn't matter when we do this garden because it's, it's 365 days a year. That's why we're doing an indoor garden. We just got a later start on it than we wanted. Um, and I kind of wanted to show Jack and I want to do a video on these because they are cool. And they do obviously work well. That whole thing comes out and we're going to kind of show you guys. In fact, I'll pull one of these guys out here. This is the um, this is the peppers, this next row. So you can see here, you know, those roots come right on through. And this bag is, this little bag's like biodegradable. So you just plant that whole thing. And those are even full of more roots. So we're going to keep moving these down. Those, again, we did have to kind of close pin until they start attaching to the trellis because they were pretty long. We may have to do that with this zucchini. We're not sure, but uh, most of the other ones we're just going to put in the rest of these. And uh, basically what Jack did here, there's our sprouts. You know, we always kind of soak those. We have new ones starting there. We have ones here that we're rinsing. We're going to probably pull those out when we're done. Uh, Jack was taking this big cup. He's taking his pond water, dumping it in the water thing there. And then we're just kind of watering. We're not getting this incredibly wet. We're just kind of dampening it. And each day, I'm just going to check this and kind of keep it damp, you know, in here. It, it shouldn't really evaporate that much because it's inside and we don't want it to be super wet. We don't want it to smell or get moldy. So, um, and then as we do that, take this water off of the pond, we, we, we're going to top it off. So like each day, I'll probably just dunk this little cup down in here, go around, test these like on my lunch break or whatever, and dump a little in and then top off the pond. So it's not really aquaponics, but it's kind of like little miniature water changes as we water, right? Yeah, yeah. And then we top off the pond and then we water the plants off the pond. And yeah, we could have done some sort of aquaponic system in that, but we felt like this was really cheap and easy. We may elaborate on it over time. Uh, you can see the tank's getting a little green again. It's been a couple months since we did it. So probably do that when we get all this kind of done and everything like that. But we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna transfer the rest of this stuff. The only thing that didn't grow was a cantaloupe. The cantaloupe didn't really grow at all. We do have more of them. So we're probably gonna just plant them outside because in all honesty, um, our outdoor garden is doing better than ever. We had a pretty good spring, right? We're, we're putting the deer deterrent stuff down. And we had some pumpkins that rotted and they're starting, the seeds are starting to grow again. From Halloween last yeah, year. They're, pretty cool. they're in the front. They're up the front for Halloween and they just started growing. So we're letting them grow. So yeah, we'll see. We'll see. It would be pretty neat if they do. And we've got, you can see back here, we have some tomatoes and stuff growing. So we've been, you know, putting the repellent and hopefully they spread and we might put a little trellis out there for them. So we'll kind of see what happens. But we're basically gonna take the rest of this and get it all in these containers and we'll kind of show you what it's all like when we're done. All right, there's Jack. We uh, finished this half over here and he's moving over there to that half. He's doing the cauliflower right now over there. Um, and then we're pretty much done with that one. We're gonna move on to this cart. Over here, things are looking pretty good. We got the uh, cucumbers over here. They're starting, we just kind of looped them around that first bar there. And over here we have zucchini. Just kind of loop them around. Like I said, we've seen people, uh, you know, grow them up, uh, things like this. And these were pretty good. We're going to give it a try. Um, here's the peppers. They're pretty small, but we kind of put them right by the post so they can crawl up or when they're ready. And uh, asparagus is right here. Didn't get a ton of those, but there were seeds still left in the asparagus. So we planted more seeds up here. 
you know, we just kind of kind of put more in there. And here is the Brussels sprouts. Same thing. These didn't look real good, but we laid them down. We watered them, um, separated them, and then in between these, we put more seeds because we had more seeds in there. So we'll see how it goes. We could always plant more too. It's no big deal. So this side's completely done. That is uh, six of them. So we've got uh, four more on that side that we're going to do. Got six over here and uh, pretty much all water and everything like that. We're just watering off the pond and any of the pieces and parts of the sprouts or anything that fall. I mean, the goldfish and Larry's just grabbing them. Look at him. He's like, yeah, this is fun. Snack time, baby. But uh, yeah, it's working out real good. So we're going to finish these, put the rest of these guys all up here and show you what it's like when it's all done. All right, that didn't take too long, did it? No. That was kind of fun, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. So we got everything done. Everything's in the containers. Everything's labeled. We cleaned the pond up a little bit. Some of the sprouts fell in here, and they're just chowing down on them, leaves and whatnot, so they'll be good to eat today. There's a little bone. We gave him a new bone. Larry's working on his bone. You like your bone, Larry, don't you? He's like, what? You got more food, dude? He's always about the camera. Um, we have our regular sprouts that we took out. These are a few days old. They're going. There's some other ones in the kitchen we're going to eat tonight. These guys are new ones we're starting. We just keep a rotation of that. Here's more stuff over here, more of the lettuce and beets and carrots, and then the tomatoes are over there. We decided to put the tomatoes all together in one, and then these are going to be like cauliflower broccoli. We'll see how that goes. But overall, kind of cleaned up and got everything done. We're going to be cleaning the pond because we're going to be taking a little vacation, so clean all that up before we leave and everything. But honestly, it's doing really good. We just we ended up taking a bit of, quite a bit of water out to water everything, so we had to kind of top it off. So it still looks fantastic. I mean, it's been just crystal clear ever since we started it. Um, been up and running for quite some time now. Turtles are doing great. There's Kame. She's eating some of the sprouts that went up into the, the inverted tank there. It's like, what? and the goldfish are eating them and everything. So, yeah, there's the DIY filter. We cleaned it, what was it like, after nine months of having it up or something like that? Yeah. And it was pretty easy to clean, it wasn't even that dirty. So, it's it still really doesn't have very much in there. Uh, it's been a couple months since we've done that, so probably won't bother doing that till in the summer. So we'll see how this stuff goes. I'm pretty excited about the beets and the carrots over there. These are like the short carrots over there, so. You know, it's not that big of a container, but they're like shorter ones or whatever. So there you go. We got all the lights. We got everything going. We'll just kind of see how this whole thing works out. If, if if some of them don't grow or if the sprouting first thing didn't work, we could certainly just plant seeds in there, you know. I mean, these guys seem to do pretty good and everything, but we'll see how it goes. We probably, again, didn't really need to do any sort of sprouting or anything like that, right? But it was kind of neat. No, we probably could just put them there, but it was cool. Put them right in there. And we'll see how it goes. And if we need to do that, that's what we'll do. But again, we're in no hurry for this. This is all just fun and experimentation, um, you know, for, for our indoor pond in here. We just want to start to have a garden year round. And we're, you know, working on a little bit of time. There's no hurry or anything on it. We're just experimenting. And we'll continue to do updates and we'll kind of show how this all works. And uh, honestly, it's been very, very little expense for this whole thing. We really enjoy it. And we love the sprouts that we grow. We've done quite a few videos on those. If you haven't seen them, check our playlist and everything in the description because, you know, that's great. And, uh, you know, all these other guys and everything. That's a big one. It's like bigger than him. <laughs> He'll just chop on it, though. He's so funny. He's so funny. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. As always, definitely check out the old description and the pinned comment for... You know, playlists and all that kind of stuff. If you want to see more on these tanks and all the stuff we do around here and everything like that. That was, uh, was kind of neat. It would be cool if some of this works out. Be yeah, of to... course, some stuff. We could cook it and stuff. It'd be cool to come over here in the middle of winter and just grab a big, beefy tomato, you know. You just can't get that in Cleveland, yeah. can you? I mean, you like the tomatoes. I'm not a big fan, but I want to make a stir-fry, vegetable stir-fry yeah. with uh, the onions and the broccoli and the carrots. Yeah. yeah that'd be good. Yeah. Some tofu, maybe. It'll be awesome. Well, you know what, guys? Uh, thanks again. We're going to be taking off. We're just going to uh, say something at the end of this video here. Um, by the time you guys see this, Jack's going to be graduating ninth grade already. Can you believe that? Yeah. 15 years old. 
We're going to take a guy's trip. We're going to Atlantic City. They have the showboat now that's like kid friendly. They took all the gambling out of there during COVID, revamped the whole place. We're not staying there, but we are going to be going there and doing some other things. We'll got, probably do some videos. Go -karts and stuff. So yeah, like electric cool. go-karts and a water park and all kind of things that they're doing over there. Kind of like Vegas, making it more family friendly and stuff like that. But uh, overall, we're going to be doing that, just a guy's trip. Uh, me and uh, me and Jack are going, and we'll probably just do like a big slideshow kind of video like we did and went to Columbus and stuff like that for Christmas. So anyway, we'll probably see you guys in about a week or so, and uh, hope everybody's having an awesome summer. Take it easy. Bye.